Hi, it's Jeff Greenberg, and I want to show you that you could use Keynote as a great animation tool. Take a look at this animation inside of Final Cut. I didn't have to set a single keyframe. How come? Because I did it in Keynote. So over in Keynote here, we're going to take a look at this first slide that I made into an animation. All we need to do is go over to the Animate Inspector, and anything we click on will tell us what sort of animation took place. For example, this main title has a fade and move. To help us see what else goes on, let's click on the build order at the bottom. The build out of all the elements was done together and set to move out. My name has a scale big to it. And the tool that Mac users forget they have is set to keyboard type on. Let's build one entirely from scratch. Here is your standard boring PowerPoint. It has a title, it has a text block, and it has a logo. I'm going to start with the text at the top. I'm going to choose Build In and Add an Effect. I can pick anything from this list. I'm going to pick Blur. And it shows you immediately what it looks like. It's not fast enough for me, so I'm going to change its duration. My large text block, I'll add the effect called Drop. It's way too slow, but I'm also going to do it instead of by the object, I'm going to do it by word. And let's preview that. That's super cool. Let's bring in the logo. I'm going to choose to bring it in as a pop. So that's got everything coming in. Just like we can have something build in and build out, we can add an effect to an object on a slide. In this case, I'm going to do a move. I can grab its position and scale it up. And it'll look like this. Now I could build all of these off, but this time I'm going to do a transition. And for this, I want a blank slide because I want to transition from this to just any video of my own. So I'm just going to hit the Enter key and change this to a blank slide. For this to work, the background here has to be set to no fill. So the current fill is set to no fill. And in doing so, if you export this correctly, when it hits Final Cut or Premiere or Avid or Resolve, this has an automatic alpha channel that'll be built. I'm going to go back to my slide and I'm going to pick a transition. To get to the transitions, you need to have nothing selected. I'll do a reveal. Let's look at the last slide. Here it is. It's an infographic. You know you dread this. You dread seeing these. You dread watching these. I've taken the infographic itself, and I've already set it to have a dissolve, and it's coming in by wedge. Let's take a look. No keyframes and a chart that just puts itself together. OK, so we've got some animation built. Now we need to get it out of Keynote. For this, we go up to the File menu, choose Export to Movie. With this dialog that comes up, we've got a couple choices, a couple adjustments we need to make. The first is, when should it go to the next element in the movie? Since there is no interaction in a movie, you need to tell it to trigger. I like to set these to a second. Why do I like a second? Because off in my editor, I can lengthen or shorten any section of the video once it's already in my editor. For resolution, you have defaults of 720 and 1080, but we're going to want custom. We'll put in 1920 by 1080. If you were doing a UHD project, you'd put in those numbers. I tend to pick a frame rate of 29.97, but you could pick anything you'd like here. 
But the magic switch to get that transparency on this slide is to change this from H.264 to the only codec here that supports transparency, that supports an alpha channel. That's ProRes 4444. It's going to build a large file, but now anything that has the background set to no fill will be see-through, and we'll now get exports with transparent backgrounds. You say Next, and then you choose the actual export. And when you do so, it'll be available for you to use in your editorial tool of choice, and it looks like this. Notice there's that empty section ready to go if I want to put in my own video. There's loads more for you to explore, and I encourage you to play. My name's Jeff Greenberg, film geek on all your favorite social networks. As always, feel free to ask questions here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.